This is Valencia County Animal Shelter and our seventh annual Thanksgiving Day dinner. We're gonna feed the dogs just like we know how, fill their bellies, make sure they have fresh blankets, fresh water, make sure there's no poop in their kennels, and then we're gonna go home and eat some Thanksgiving dinner also. But they do come first in my book. Inspiring me was the fact that, that they need loving too. And thank the Lord that they are here. Okay, we need to give them thanks for what they do also. They just need loving, you know, they're our companions, our friends. I started about six years ago, six or seven years ago. And since then it's been a tradition for me ever, ever, ever since, every year. And everybody has been so helpful with their donations and stuff, you know? So it's really good. It helps out a lot. The first couple of years I didn't have any donations. I just, you know, paid out of my pocket. People even from Albuquerque are, are coming here and donating because they love the idea so much. Yeah, makes you feel good inside. Well, how many animals am I going to be feeding? Pro probably about 200 to 250. Last year I had a party of 222. So I bring a little extra just in case I don't want nobody to be missed, looked over, you know. And I start cooking like two days before just the turkey so there's so many turkeys I have to cook. I cook about five. There's no bones in there. We don't want them getting choked or sick on them or whatever. I put no spices in there whatsoever because it's not good for their stomach. It's too rich for them. So I, I, I no, so it's kind of bland, but they appreciate it. And they don't care, you know. I, I cook my turkeys. I put a, a, a layer of dog food, dry dog food on the bottom, a layer of turkey, mashed potatoes, green beans, carrots, stuffing, gravy, and everybody gets a biscuit on top. And I'm just put it on there, put them on the cart, and then I have volunteers that come around and deliver it to the dogs for me. You know, as many as I are in the, in the kennel. And the cats too, can't forget the cats. Well, they don't say thank you, but they, you could just tell in their eyes and their, in the, the demeanor, you know what I mean? And they want, if they want seconds, they could have it. It's Thanksgiving. I'll, go, I'll have a ham or something I'll cook when I get home, you know. Sure, I, I celebrate Thanksgiving, but with these guys. <laughs> with the shelter dog, that's my Thanksgiving. If anybody knows me, they know for the past eight years that I, that's all I've been doing is giving my heart, my soul to this place, you know, every single day. But I thank the community very much for pulling together for us here. And big thank you out to Patty Mugen, okay? Um, she's got this all going, started again this year. She goes out there and reaches out online and that's where the, it starts pouring in, all for animals also. It's a um, non-profit organization. Just everybody coming together and working together. It kind of put like, it kind of uh, makes a happy uh, atmosphere. You know, there's so much stupid stuff going on in the world right now, and everybody needs to get along. We really do. And helping the animals is a, is a very, very good place to start. But please, spay and neuter your dogs or cats. It's so important, okay? They need loving bad. We have a clinic right next door. It's, it's affordable. Just got to call, make an appointment with Hart or here at the shelter, um, area code 505-866-2479. And uh, thank you so much. Please spay and neuter your dog or cat.